guys, I'm Erin and I work in KPMG. I'm so proud to be involved in the Children's KPMG Ireland Book Awards this year and to help you with the important task of being a junior jury. Now, the book I had the privilege of reading was this book, Savage Reply, written by Deirdre Sullivan and illustrated by Karen Vaughan. Now, this book retells the classic fairy tale of the children of Lear with a new perspective. This fairy tale portrays a cruel and wicked stepmother turn her children to swans and for so long she has been condemned in history. This book gives Aif, the stepmother, a voice and that alone is so powerful and relevant to our times today. Giving a voice to those who have been silenced is evident in 2021. To name but a few instances of this, the Black Lives Matter movements, the mother and baby home victims speaking out, the worldwide increasing acceptance of the LGBTQ plus community. No longer do we accept the aged ways of thinking of the past. It has never been more important that we look at everyone's perspective, think of others' pain, always be compassionate, and to never condemn someone without hearing their side, and this is what is expected if you are a citizen in today's society. This book embodies giving a voice to those who are once silenced, and upon reading this book, you will see how valuable this is. This is so applicable to you as you become young adults. It is so easy to get caught up in stories in the media or told between your friends, but you must always remember there is two sides to every story. You never know what another person is going through or has gone through, and so we must always remain compassionate. This is the central message in Saboteur Reply. For so long in Irish history, men have controlled the narrative. As is clear in the 100-year-old fairy tale, The Children of Lear. Topics are explored from religion, to history, to the intricacies of human nature and nurture from a female's perspective. The book showcases how the Irish society now not only accepts, but encourages the female narrative. As a woman hoping to have a long and successful career and life in Ireland, I found this extremely inspiring. Savage Her Reply is based on an approximately 200 year old story, but its message is the central theme in today's society. It is so important to reinvent old Irish fairy tales so they remain relevant. Our history and traditions must be brought to the 21st century in an enjoyable and relatable way, as we cannot lose our customs and old folklore. They must be cherished and enhanced to be enjoyed for centuries more to come. This book embodies that message. Now, so I actually did history and art in secondary school, so this book was perfect for me. There is so much art throughout this book in the form of concrete poems, modelled after the Irish Ohm alphabet. Each poem adds to the story, but also stands on its own as a tiny exploration of a moment or emotion. This, along with the lyrical prose of the story, inspired me to do some of my own artwork based on my favourite quotes from the book. So this picture actually has a lot of meaning behind it. Now, so on this side, we see the old depiction of Aif of a monster who ruined her environment. The quote here is, I am an ugly thing, and part of me has always been an ugly thing. A sneak, a child, a woman who looked jealously at love that wasn't for her and resented it. However, on this side, we can see how dark her background was, symbolizing her mistreatment throughout her life. The quote here is, I, want, I wanted to be heard and loved, I wanted to be favored, and I wasn't. This picture shows two sides to every story, a wicked monster and a victim of her own environment. Now in the centre, we have two quotes to symbolise this. Stories can be weapons, persuading people of things about themselves, about each other. You cannot trust the story, even mine. Remember that. Be careful. Now, I'll give you one last look at it. Now, I would like to encourage you to get inspired and paint some meaningful artwork at school or at home based on this book, Sam Chair Reply. Now, I wish you all the very best of luck in making your decision, and I hope I helped out somehow. <laughs> okay, thanks a million, you guys. Bye. Bye.